a spot that is not on earth. It's not mapped and it's not known and it's only visible to the trained eye. So nobody can, can or will ever find that because you won't see it even if you're before it. That's how these things reveal themselves. They look 3D but they're actually not really 3D. So today's topic is, um, and I'll put that in short, and as I'm talking I get this beeping sound in my head. So I feel like something is going on. Um, people expect the, uh, something like an invasion or they'll come in and it'll be visible. It's more like imagine that um, we don't have complete sight yet. We have a few fear factors and upstairs is very interested in us and anchoring that here before we take a, off because everybody that would have a chance to step to, through a stargate right now or be on a ship and everything be light and karma taken away you know um, you will not come back you would uh, you would ascend immediately and they said the greatest party is actually not leaving earth is to stick through the program to handle your business to anchor your love and light in this vessel in this conduit to bring in the change because it changes you. Any inventor that has super luminous technology, photonic, ionic, magnetic, um, super electric, uh, super electric, all of those people, I want all of those come together and anchor that because we are the landing platform basically for the angels. We are the landing platform for ourselves, meaning our higher selves and our higher aspects can only be downloaded into us once we've done the math. And back in the ancient schools of Egypt, it was taught if you're a high priest, if you cross, make sure you come back because your mission is here. Your mission is to ground. Your mission is not a, a mission away from your heart. Your mission is to bring intangible results, meaning even though we're going up into the higher dimensions, uh, we can announce that the, the fifth dimension is already here, meaning the accessibility to fifth dimensional technology is already present. It is up to the individual to clear their heads and clear their minds and bring that in. We do it. Um, some of us are of the Octorian High Council and I'm officially greeting those that realize and put themselves in place that you now can step into your role. I see you out there, High Councils and High Priests, you really are who you are and I'm not talking about those that are trying to sell any placebo effects, those that come with real knowledge, real spiritual assisting, uh, um, uh, spiritual technology, uh, stuff that will heal people very quick, very fast. Look out for those. That we are all not commercial, we are all not uh, superheroes yet. You can't see our wings yet. Um, we're not millionaires overnight. This is grassroots, this is step by step doing the footwork because um, it's about to anchor the great and grand energies that are here. And we welcome you and everybody coming to grips that make a choice to be in the positive, to be in the light for whatever happens, to make the change and the revolution begins in your heart instead of occupying all these external spaces try to occupy your heart and get out of the mind and um, those that are clear and get clearer and this is uh, more more than fact and I've seen it all over you will have sight you will you will begin to see other dimensional aspects you're closer to that of course if you're in nature and um, training is to be close to nature, you know, do what you love, try to get out of a 3D job, 3D job meaning what you attach to, what you think you need for survival and it actually doesn't make you feel good. Try to find something that makes you feel good, effortless, doing your work, anchoring the light here. Everybody is important, everybody that gets up and does something for the change, for the, that it bring, brings in something physical, meaning make it visible for the others. We call it vibrational matching. It's very important that we all get together in this. And we need to wake up to the fact that don't, um, you know, um, try to be superficial. Catch yourself when you're asleep because when you're unconscious, that when, that's when you run on autopilot. And we don't want you to run on autopilot. We want you to be aware and awake. So I'm closing this here saying greetings to all the high councils that are awakened to their powers that know who they are, Orion Council. Um, I'm me, myself, and a few others, Octorian High Council, we all are here. We, we sit in ships, we project our consciousness in these human forms, and as far as we're concerned, nobody's really from Earth. So stop saying AT here and human here. Of course, we have a few Earth incarnates that need a few time lapses to incarnate on Earth before they can go into Stella. 
uh, those of the volunteers, we have been interstellar, we just have returned out of love and we're going through this again and we'll do it again to evolve consciousness. Thank you and Namaste.